Okay, so now I have an idea of the components that I need to use um, and I need to start thinking about the case. Uh, so an enclosure for the entire uh, drinks mixer. I'm thinking maybe I can reuse actually um, an existing product um, that uh, is very similar to what I'm trying to build uh, with some key differences of course, um, but maybe I can reuse most of the enclosure. So I actually went to a local shop and bought a coffee maker. Yeah. Okay, so let's open this up. Okay, so this is the coffee machine. Chose a model that looks a bit more boxy. It will be nice with this enclosure because there's already a place where the cable comes out. So I'll replace this with uh, my electronics. Okay, so in terms of the visible components for this coffee machine, uh, before I open everything, so if we have the filter here, then I'll probably be able to reuse this container here. There is also a button here that I might want to reuse. We have um, the cable coming out. Yeah, it's pretty simple and uh, I think it's pretty cute actually. Yeah, sorry coffee machine. Okay. Let's get to work. Let's see what's inside. Okay. So you see there's space inside and this entire part I can reuse including up to here and on this side as well. Okay, so now I took out most of the components, so it looks pretty empty and I can start thinking about how I will use this. So I really like the portion here where we can put different tubes in here and the drink will come out here. I'll probably reuse this uh, surface because it's pretty okay. All my electronics and stuff should go in here, so I think I will cut this part here, I don't need that. I need a place to work actually more than anything else. Probably need to do a bigger hole in there so I can access all this um, side here. And then I need to figure out how to put all the electronics on the bottom. Might need to do a higher bottom maybe so that it um, all fits together. So here you see the um, different components that I have. And basically, we need to fit this power supply and all of this in this one. Um, I wish there was enough space in here for everything, but even for this power supply, it's not, this part here is not tall enough. The width is okay, so it would fit, uh, but I can't put everything. So one solution is that put a higher platform in here. Um, all these components will need to stay on the top or under this one But then I could have all the pumps on the back So that will be pretty nice only that this part will be a bit higher another possibility would be to To put only the Raspberry Pi and relay and that thing in here and then the power supply that it goes somehow in the back here and then put the pumps on the sides, so four on each side, be something like uh, like this. And I check that two of them will fit, so it will be something like this. Okay, so I decided to put um, all these three components on uh, the base of the coffee maker, and so I had to cut some of the plastic here in order to make space for the relay module. So I want to put the um, Raspberry Pi on the side so I have access to the USB and also to HDMI and the relay. And on this side as well I um, cut some of the extra parts so I make more room for the other components. 
Okay, so I've now cut uh, seven um, wires of different colors that correspond to the colors that we already have here between the Raspberry Pi and the Relay. And also I cut seven other uh, red wires um, so we connect uh, the rest of the pumps like we did for the first test one. Okay, so I've done now three other. Do four others, but I'll change a bit where I put the wires. So for these four, I put um, the red wire on uh, the plus. It will define how the this will rotate. So if I have the uh, mixer with pumps on the two sides, I would probably want to have four the other four. Uh, rotating in a different direction. So I decided to put them on the sides, but I need to drill the holes And I actually have this kit from um, Ikea and I was thinking maybe I can use this one. Just perfect So there's a lot of dust on this So I'll just clean it up So I went for putting glue all over. So I've now printed um, a piece of uh, plastic for the bottom of the coffee machine and uh, I'll put in uh, these uh, small legs that came initially from, uh, from the machine. This will provide hopefully more stability to, to the coffee machine. So this is the 3D printed box, the enclosure for the power supply. And I drilled some uh, holes here so it matches with the cables there. The next step is that I will uh, put it all together.
So now the glue is dried and it seems to be okay, like I can do it. And now I put it on the top part and it will actually become the bottom of the entire machine. So this will be the bottom of the coffee machine and the power supply will go like this. This slides too much on the surface. So what I thought of doing is actually putting this, um, this material under the power supply. So I 3D printed the logo for the drink mixer and I sanded the area where I will um, glue this logo so it sticks uh, better. And now I've also printed some branding for the bottom part. So I'll uh, glue that here. I had some problems with uh, SSHing to Raspberry Pi, uh, it just got stuck uh, once in a while. So uh, I think I need to open this and uh, see what the problem is. <laughs> 